Hello friends. This is Anime Reality Bender. How are you all? So in this video, we will see. What if Naruto reincarnated as Dragon of Chaos? But before we start, if you want more amazing stuff like this, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also if possible share this video with your friends. Now without wasting any more time, let's begin the story. Breath in, breath out, force all outside distractions away and calm the storm in your mind, a blonde youth thought wearing a god-awful set of orange clothing as he meditated on the bed in his team's bedroom for the remainder of the second exams. Since the first day of the second exams they encountered Orochimaru who placed the Gogyo Fuin, five elements seal, on him while placing a curse mark on Sasuke before fleeing. The Anbu who followed him into the forest gave them the set of scrolls needed to pass and placed them at the gate much to his disgust. He knew that if they had been any other team not only would they have been failed for the exam due to the Anbu's intrusion but the kid with the curse seal would have been placed in a cell to be monitored to determine if he was a flight risk. After the three were brought to the tower Kakashi confronted them asking what happened as they told the events that transpired as yet Naruto was the sole being who was berated for costing the lives of his team going so far as to call him a disgrace to the shinobi way while praising Sakura for doing absolutely nothing and Sasuke for being a chicken shit until the last minute as Orochimaru played with him. While going as far as to say it was Naruto's fault Orochimaru came after them in the first place. He took Sasuke to seal the curse mark while saying Naruto's punishment was to deal with the Gogyofuin for the remainder of the second exam maybe the entire exam should he feel obligated to remove it. Sakura despite her years of abuse felt genuinely concerned for the blonde he fought to save both of them yet he was being punished when he should be receiving thanks instead and thought back on all the times he was there for her since the academy on to receive pain in exchange. Going into the shower he bathed rinsing the dirt and grime off himself as he walked back into his room shedding his towel he pulled a scroll from his pouch releasing the contents showing an all black bodysuit that clung to his frame showing his muscles with a long zipper from the waist up to the neck and grey chaps which were secured in the front as the two belts fastened over the other in an X form on his front. Over the knees he had a belt on both legs with two belt straps built into the chaps to tighten them and a pair of black anbu styled sandals with anbu leg guards on under the chaps. On his upper torso he had a long sleeved red jacket that had a yin and yang symbol on the back with two black uzumaki spirals on his shoulders with the hood drawn over his head blocking his face from view. On his arms he had a pair of anbu styled arm guards with a black fingerless glove. On his hips he had one large pouch that the medic ninja used to carry his abundant special kanai all obsidian black in color and other materials. On both legs he had two holsters for his various shuriken with seals on both his pouches to hold more kanai. Shuriken ninja wire, various tags of his own design and more to last him. Hearing a knocking on the door he released the seal on his person as light burst in the room he said, what is it? On the other side his teammate Sakura responded, the other genin are at the fighting arena it seems there's an important announcement and I was sent to get you. Smiling he grabbed three more scrolls and placed them in his back pouch as he tied his headband around his eyes, I'll be right out go on ahead Sakura-chan. Okay Naruto-kun but you better be there I don't want Kakashi-sensei to give you another punishment. You are well right? She asked making him smile slightly at her concern. I'm fine Sakura-chan no need to be worried, now get going I don't want Hitaki Teme to punish you for some idiotic reason. He said causing Sakura to run as he heard her footsteps fade down the hall. Looking at the full length mirror he sighed saying to himself, let's do this Uzumaki show him hell. Vanishing into his shadow as it rippled out of existence with his former jumpsuit lying on the floor discarded destroying his first linchpin as the, Dobi, of the Konoha 12. Oh oh preliminary stadium oh oh easing from Sakura's shadow he crept next to her as he was thankful for the fact that they were in the far back as Sakura looked out of the corner of her eye to see a hooded boy next to her appearing from nowhere in the middle of the Hokage's speech. Naruto-kun. She said quietly making the boy pull the side of his hood slightly showing his whiskers which were now block like before letting the side block the new whiskers while he put a gloved finger to his lips as if to make a shushing noise as they returned focus to the Hokage as he finished his speech as Naruto noticed two cloaked figures on the balcony with the Hokage. A Junin who looked rather sickly said, if you don't mind cough, cough Hokage-sama I'll take over from here. Nodding to Anko the woman ripped the tarp off the wall by the statue of the fingers forming a hand sign to show a large LED screen as he said. Cough now before cough the first fight commenced does anyone cough wish to withdraw? Kabuto raising his hand much to his confusion before he could say anything the two cloaked figures tipped the Hokage off making him subtly form a sign which both Anko and the sick Junin caught as soon as the door closed behind him he was captured. 
Now the first match of the preliminary rounds will now commence when your name shows up on the board those are the two that will fight the others will go up on the balcony. Anko said as the Genin's names roulette on the screen. Going through all the names it slowly stopped at Sasuke Uchiha. Vs Yoroi Akato. Alright brats if your name isn't up on the board then your asses better be on the balcony. Anko shouted as the Genin soon gathered on the stairs with Naruto sitting on the floor meditating much to Sakura's shock while the others were confused on who he was while a few knew who he was. Watching the fight Naruto Tisk seeing Sasuke use a bastardized variation of his friend Lee's secondary lotus letting him win the fight but he knew Sasuke and Kakashi relied on the Sharingan and that was the only reason he won this fight because he copied that move. Watching Sasuke come up the stairs Kakashi quickly grabbed him as they shunshined away as Naruto noticed the Autogenin sensei follow not too much later as the names rolled on the screen again showing. Zaku Abumi vs Shino Aburame looking at the sound genin he saw the boy's arm was in a sling making him wonder why the hell he was fighting and what caused the injury in the first place. But to say the least during the second fight Naruto was rather impressed on Shino's part avoiding those waves coming from the holes in Abumi's wrist while subtly sending out his clan's insects to clog them when he got him talking Naruto knew the fight was over when his arms exploded bringing the match to a close as the screaming sound ninja was picked up in a stretcher. The next round was between Choji Akamichi vs Dosu Kinuda. And to be honest the fight wasn't all that interesting and rather anticlimactic to say the least. Dosu commented on his weight pissing off the Akamichi who lost due to Dosu using those gauntlets on his arms to vibrate the water in his body knocking him out. As usual he liked the Akamichi's drive but he has to work on his temper if he wants to get anywhere. Most of the fights ended how Naruto suspected they would Shino being the anti-social boy he was didn't need to do much and nobody knew what to expect from him since they only knew that he and his clan used bugs. Nothing else to say on the matter but he felt should he branch out with different insects or arachnids the boy could be a serious contender especially with some being venomous. Sasuke in his eyes since the beginning had no skill besides a decent taijutsu and jutsu but with his sharingan he felt the boy couldn't really get any farther because he's far too arrogant to be worth anything with a hair trigger at that. One mention about his clan or his brother he goes off into a blind fury. He knew how to analyze and plan for each of his opponents. The last sound Kunoichi stared at the screen as the name stopped showing it red. Kin Suchi vs Shikamaru Nara Naruto thought, this could be interesting. With Shikamaru he has a fixed area to work with and plenty of light to pull of his shadow possession jutsu. Although the same could be same for that kin girl and her bells. If Shikamaru wants to win this he's got to be careful and get her in a corner. Watching he felt his shoulder being tapped making him turn to see Sakura asking quietly, Naruto kun what's with the change in clothes? Shrugging he said, my old jumpsuits were a little too small on me so I pulled this old thing out. I only got this one pair and three others so I decided to wear it for something important, why? A blush formed on her face saying, I just think it's a good look as all makes you look more professional and mysterious but where did you get it? Subtly pointing to the Hokage he said, it was a gift to me on my 16th birthday but I wanted to wait until I could surprise everyone. Watching Shikamaru manipulate Kin into banging her head on the wall he couldn't help but snigger trying to control himself from outright laughing at the unconscious sound Kunoichi's expression. What surprise? Sakura asked curiously making him grin bringing his face close to her ear as he whispered, it's a secret. She almost face faulted as they watched the next two fighters names list off until she gulped as it read. Sakura Haruno vs Ino Yamanaka right now Naruto wanted to curse Kakashi for not doing anything to prepare Sakura for a fight some taijutsu training. Ninjutsu anything could have been useful at this point even the chakra scalpel would be very handy at this point. Turning to Sakura who was afraid he put his hand on her shoulder saying quietly, don't let it get to you Sakura chan. I'm going to give you a pep talk and some sound advice, here's the pep talk. Seeing her relax slightly he said, face forward Sakura. That which blocks your ears is worthless fear. The enemy is one, you are one. There is nothing to fear so cast it off, go forward. Never stand still. Retreat and you will age. Hesitate and you will die. Be strong Sakura I know you can do this just have faith in yourself. Not the Uchiha ego boosting Sakura Kakashi thinks you are, or the weakling fangirl Sakura Sasuke thinks you are, not even the badass Sakura I think you are. But have faith in the Sakura you know you are. She straightened herself, now her clan focuses on the mind with their jutsu. Once she does that you have a split second before she overshadows you. All you have to do is pressure her and once she makes that hand sign go either to the left or to the right and the fight is yours. I believe in you. 
She smiled before heading down to the arena floor with some tools in hand as stood across from the smirking Yamanaka making Naruto smile under his hood. Give her hell Sakura. Oh oh arena floor oh oh. Who was that Sakura your looser boyfriend I noticed none of your teammates are even here to cheer you on guess they decided to bail on the sinking ship. Ino said watching Sakura looking over the items in her hand before pocketing them into her pouch. Don't worry he's not your problem, Sakura said getting into a stance. Oh oh play low by sleeping with sirens oh oh, and as for my sensei and team I don't have to worry. I'm not the Uchiha ego boosting fangirl Kakashi thinks I am, I'm not the worthless fangirl Sasuke thinks I am, and I'm not the badass Naruto kun thinks I am. I'm not relying on them to save me anymore she said with conviction tying her headband around her forehead as Hayate started the match. Running forward she started the fight by tossing several shuriken with a smoke bomb mixed in as Ino blocked the shuriken missing the bomb until the area around her was covered in smoke allowing her to charge in. Oh oh stands oh oh, hey kid who are you? Naruto heard as he turned his attention to the others with Asuma speaking. Pulling out a piece of paper he wrote, who I am is none of your concern until it is necessary. Narrowing their eyes Kurunai asked, What did you tell that Haruno girl? She seemed to have more confidence than before. Again writing he said, Just giving her a much needed pep talk, the positive reinforcement method works wonders. But what did you say? And where is Kakashi? Guy asked as Neji tried to peer through his hood with his Byakugan but to no avail. I just told her that she needs to have faith. Not in the pointless ego booster Kakashi thinks she is. Not in the pathetic Kunoichi Sasuke thinks she is or in the Sakura this Naruto boy thinks she is but in the Sakura she knows she is and could be. As for Hitaki, I would guess he's already started training Sasuke for the finals, the paper said. Why? What about Sakura or Naruto for that matter? Did he teach them anything during the team formations? Asuma asked with the genin just as curious. Shaking his head he wrote, no he didn't. He let Sakura do her job as the ego boost Sasuke constantly needs and doesn't do anything to get her motivated in training. For Naruto he feels like he doesn't have to waste his time on the dead last and considers him a disgrace to the shinobi way teaching him nothing either yet he continued to demean him. In fact Sasuke is the only one he trains since he only got Naruto and Sakura because the exams require a team of three to participate. He at least taught the three of them something before all this right? Kurenai asked again. Teamwork exercises for a half a month and in the middle of a C-rank mission turned out he taught them the tree walking exercise when he was injured facing Zabuza. And when, training, is complete he secretly teaches Sasuke more advanced jutsu and taijutsu, the last paper said as he turned his attention on the fight watching Ino get tossed through the smoke with Sakura charging after her giving her a kick to the chin lifting her off the ground as Sakura ran up the wall delivering an axe kick to the Yamanaka heiress's stomach causing her to hit the ground. Oh oh arena floor oh oh, I'm actually doing it, Sakura thought reaching into her pouch pulling out a pill which she swallowed as she felt her chakra surge making her put her fingers into a cross. Cage Bunshin no jutsu. Sakura announced as two additional Sakuras burst into existence much to everyone watching shock and Naruto's amusement. W what the, Ino stammered as she prepared her only known jutsu forcing her existence into one of the three Sakuras hoping it was the right one. Oh oh stands oh oh. Well kid whatever you taught her is pointless now my student won this fight, Asuma said getting over his shock that the weakest kunoichi did a B rank kinjutsu and not die from the use. Naruto however wrote on the pad, I wouldn't count those chickens yet Serutobi san. Wondering what the mysterious figure meant he followed where the boy was pointing as one of the sakuras walked over to Ino's downed form and started placing explosive notes on her body. If you don't forfeit now Ino you can kiss your body goodbye. Sakura said shocking the others as they watched her raise her fingers to detonate the paper before Ino announced her forfeit making this fight count in Sakura's favor as she removed the tags allowing the clone to dispel letting Ino get back into her body. Oh oh song and oh oh Sakura came running up the stands as she hugged Naruto, thank you so much for the advice. He simply waved his hand from side to side with another note, I didn't do anything more than tell you what Kakashi should have told you from the start, you did the work. Sakura who is this? Is he a friend of yours? Shikamaru asked getting a nod. Yeah but he doesn't want me to say who he is until it's necessary but trust me you'll be surprised when you find out, she said looking at the screen feeling fatigued as it showed. 1010 Higurashi vs Subaku no Tamari Naruto was rooting for 1010 as was her team well Guy and Lee were. 1010 because the two of them were childhood friends along with Lee before 1010 was adopted by her father and Lee was taken in by Guy. 
They were practically related the three of them and he hoped she came out all right but knew otherwise. Ten Ten aspired to be known as a weapon mistress and to master every weapon there was as well as make them. But the downside to this was she didn't have any ninjutsu to fall back on or even genjutsu. Sure her taijutsu was decent at least chunin but against Tamari her odds were so slim they were practically non-existent. The only thing she could say she knew besides taijutsu was fuinjutsu and she got him started on it when they were orphans. And true to his fears, he was right as the entire fight was rather one-sided from the start. Every time she threw a weapon Tamari blasted it away with her fan and to make matters worse she couldn't do anything to turn the tide. As she got caught in Temuri's whirlwind she was about to have her back meet Temuri's fan when Naruto caught her looking down with a bit of killer intent he wrote. You've already won the match. Don't add insult to injury. Jumping back he vanished in a blaze of fire to return next to her team as he put her down with Lee coming to him saying, thank you so much for saving Ten Chan Stranger Kun. Rubbing the back of his head he thought, just like Tent and Lee hasn't changed in the slightest. Writing it down the note said, no worries just don't go too overboard when it's your turn. Walking past the sand team he put a note in Gara's hand that the team read, if I were you one tails I'd be cautious. Don't want to be killed by the nine-tailed beast guarding its den now would we? The four were now on edge as the being in the Gara's head told him to be very afraid of him as if he was a being that transcended the tailed beasts or even that of its brother Kayubi. What's the matter Gara? Tamari asked as he retold them what mother said making the others even more frightened as for the Ichibi to be so struck with fear to actually want to avoid conflict with him something that transcended the nine tails was something they didn't want to chance. Making his way back next to Sakura she pointed to the screen as it read. Subaku no Konkuro vs Masumi Sarugi this was a fight he didn't need to plan for with either opponent but that didn't mean he wasn't impressed with Konkuro's forethought and tricked his opponent by disguising his puppet as himself while operating it from within the bindings to deal with him. So Naruto what do you think is going to happen next? Sakura whispered as he began writing down on his notepad. I don't know. Although me and the two next to the Hokage gave Hinata the boost she needs if her opponent is who I think it is, it said as Sakura looked over at Hinata and saw a major difference to the wallflower everyone knew her as in the academy. Being tapped on the shoulder she saw the screen say. Neji Hayuga vs Hinata Hayuga as the two walked down Kurinai gave her a quick pat on the back which she returned with her usual smile before her features gained a superior smirk that was out of place on the Hayuga heiress's face as she made her decent. Oh oh arena floor oh oh. Maybe you should give up now Hinata sama and save yourself the biting humiliation. Her cousin said condescendingly only to receive a snort in response. Maybe you should worry about yourself Nisan or you just might lose to the, now what did you call me before? She said in forethought before her eyes gained a dangerous glint to them. Oh yes the blight of the Hyuga clan. If you're worried then put your headband where your mouth is, you dirty side branch. Hinata said getting into a different form the Hyuga style taijutsu after unzipping her lavender and cream jacket showing she had on a fishnet top underneath. Oh oh play congratulations, I hate you by Alisana oh oh. The crowd was shocked by how Hinata spoke as she carried the usual Hyuga air about her self-confident, prideful, arrogant. She had all the qualities the main branch held and she carried that appearance well. Kof the match between Kof Hinata Hyuga and Kof Neji Hyuga will now commence, Hayate said getting out of the way as Neji had smoke come from his ears charging at Hinata only to hit air. What? Neji thought as he felt three cuts form on him with Hinata behind him in the same stance with chakra discharging off her fingers like blades. What's the matter dear cousin surely you'd have more fight in you than this? And here I thought you were a prodigy I guess even a brain dead slug can earn the title these days. She said infuriating the branch Hyuga more. What is that abomination you're using? That's no Hyuga Taijutsu, he said as she scoffed. You see Ni San some time ago my mother much like myself and her mother are all born with an affinity different from the other Hyugas even my sister Hanabi has a different affinity. She started when he was about to say something she jabbed him in the throat cutting off his voice box. If you'd let me speak I could get to the point. As I was saying, like her mother who had a water affinity my mother was born with both a water and wind affinity. She created the two styles with the help of a childhood friend of hers and her son is here in the exam. Me being born with equal affinity for water and wind and the assistance of Naruto-kun, and the two cloaked figures up by Hokage-sama during the past five days they've been training me, she said waving to the two as they waved back. I won't deny Kurinai ne chans training helped but I lacked the confidence to pull it off worried about what my family would say. They taught me that if you want to survive you have to evolve and so I did. 
I shed aside the old Hyuga way of thinking as the two up there trapped me in a genjutsu for five hours every night while training me in taijutsu with Naruto during the afternoon while creating several jutsu, she said getting into a stance as Neji charged. And this is one of them, she started before focusing wind chakra into her hands as she spun thrusting her hands around. Futon. Shugohaki Rokuhuyan show, wind style. Protection of the eight trigrams 64 palms, she said as a neji blasted into the grid-like sphere as they began to grind against his chest before he was blasted off the dome. Stopping her spinning the dome fell apart as she was in a slight grove as she said to the groaning Hayuga, are you finished already? Getting up he threw several shuriken which she dodged easily before focusing water and wind chakra into her fingers as the two got into a fierce taijutsu struggle. Oh oh stands oh oh, what's going on? I mean besides Hinata's attacks it doesn't seem like Neji is doing anything. Sakura pointed out as Naruto rode down. It's because the normal Hyuga style focuses on the chakra points. By using their chakra they hit the points causing damage internally as opposed to Exertanla like normal taijutsu. The style Hinata uses depends on the affinity she puts into it. The note said as Hinata got a solid shot into his collarbone on his left. But what happens with the affinity? She asked as he had a diagram. With water she's causing the muscles to fall asleep and render the limb useless. With wind she can actually do both internal and external damage. Internally because with the slightest precision she could go for a kill blow, or possibly cut vital organs or bones if she has the wind pressure high enough. The note read as Neji was now a coughing mess. But how did Naruto know the Hayuga style taijutsu? It along with various clan techniques are all secret? Kurenai asked after hearing Sakura read the note. The scrolls that get old and worn the clans toss away and whatever is thrown away is fair game. Besides no taijutsu is difficult to learn since the only reason the Hayuga are so good at it is because they use their dujutsu to see the points when they're all transfixed on each point they never change, Sakura read. Meaning anyone with textbook knowledge of the chakra points and precision can do it regardless if they have the dujutsu or no, Asuma said getting a nod as the shortest cloaked figure pointed to the grounds as Neji fell face first. Oh oh arena floor oh oh. And that's how the fight ends Nisan, Hinata said walking away as Hayate called the match in her favor as she watched the screen read the next match. Oh oh end song oh oh oh, oh stands oh oh. Yahoo come on boy we got the dobi in easy win hell he isn't even here no surprise since his sensei left a seal on him from some snake guy in the forest he he he. Now I can show Hinata who the real alpha male is, he said as the board read. Naruto Uzumaki vs Kiba in Azuka. Are you so sure about that mutt? Everyone heard as the shorter cloaked figure was seen on the floor. Oh oh arena floor oh oh, cough name. Hayate asked as he pulled his hood down letting his crimson red hair with midnight black streaks fall down his back in a ponytail with a large bead holding it with two white bandages holding his bangs. Imagine Indra's hairstyle. As his headband was covering his eyes which he adjusted to where it was around his neck as everyone saw he had purplish red lines around his eyelids with the six rectangular block like marks where his trademark whiskers were. Naruto Uzumaki. Now what were you saying about me being a no-show? Naruto said opening his eyes as the room was bathed in killer intent bringing everyone but the two figures and the Hokage to their knees as they stared at the snow-white orbs floating in the dark spaces with two reptilian slits. Loosening up on his killer intent he said, So Inazuka are you coming or do I have to drag you down? He said coldly as everyone saw a large dragon with nine tails in his place standing at the height of the guardrail of the stands making Akamaru whimper just like Shukaku was in its seal. Growling he tried grabbing Akamaru who was clinging to the railing shaking like a leaf before he bit him making the air let go saying, fine who needs you anyways. Jumping to the ground he stood across from Naruto who was holding a scroll in hand as he said, you've got a smart master least I can say for the pet. Kiba grinning up at Akamaru said, he at least the dobi's bright enough to realize. Before he could finish Naruto cut in, I was talking to Akamaru you dunce even he knows this if a fight you're doomed to lose. As Kiba growled Hayate said, the match cough between Naruto cough Uzumaki and Kiba in Azuka will cough now commence. And I'll beat you with this weapon, Naruto said unsealing a gunbai with a black center and a bright red rim while on the left was the Uzumaki spiral in white while on the right was three tomo forming a circle on the right. Ooh I'm so scared an overgrown paddle what are you going to do with me with it? Kiba asked getting a snort. Not in so many words pooch but yes. And on a side note it's not a paddle it's a war fan and just so you know I have several other weapons but I don't feel that they're necessary against the likes of you. 
Naruto said as he tossed it at Akiba who got hit in the stomach before receiving a knee to the chin as he focused futon chakra through the fan creating a small tornado catching Kiba in the center. Kaden. Gokaku no jutsu, fire style, fireball jutsu, Naruto said shooting a low-powered gray fireball at the whirlwind causing the flames to grow larger in the center as a flaming tornado was in the stadium. Oh oh stands oh oh, it seems Naruto-kun is doing just fine wouldn't you say? Sarutobi said to the two figures as they removed their cloaks showing two women with on the right with bright red hair wearing a tattered kimono style clothing with black shinobi pants and a red obi around her slim waist. She had a vampire look to her with her fangs and green reptilian slit eyes. It would seem so after all we have trained him for how long shadow he was three when we trained him so, thirteen years this October. The woman said in an alluring voice. I would say twelve years but I've never been very good with numbers. But you must agree Serutobi he's shown tremendous skill. The second said with a foreign accent that had a purr to it some would consider. She was paler in complexion compared to her friend with yellow green eyes and long dark green hair with a Taoism headband on her forehead and an armor that was primarily black with red and gold highlights and her sword at her waist. Thus far I agree with you but what Sakura and Naruto said is truly disconcerting, he said as the other leaf gen in 1010 and Ino included came over. Dad who are they? Asuma asked curiously as they all continued to watch the one-sided fight. These are the two who have been training Naruto since he was three. Wuya Uzumaki and Shadow Uzumaki, he said getting wide eyes from the others. Uzumaki. You mean Naruto-kun you're related to him? Ten Ten asked getting a shrug. We're cousins you could say. You see our clan before we were whipped out by IWA. Kumo and Kiri in the Third War were close allies to Konoha since we helped them create the Hidden Leaf Village before we were whipped out of fear. In fact the symbol all the Junin and Shunin wear on their jackets and on the civilian clothes are our family symbol until the civilian council save for your mother Sakura agreed to tarnish that relationship by removing any and all knowledge of our continent before its fall as a means to spit in Naruto's face. Wuya said with a grin watching Naruto block Kiba's Suga, tunneling Fang, with his gun by. Why? And if that's the case why were they feared? Sakura asked watching her teammate absolutely demolish Kiba with efficiency. Well as to why we were feared is because we had several bloodlines you could say. One of which was longevity meaning we don't age as fast as you all do if at all should we master our other bloodlines. Then there's a mastery in any weapon we pick up. Wuya started as she watched Kiba struggle to get up. The third is monstrous chakra reserves, back then. A child in the academy had the reserves of a junin and by the time they got out were comparable to that of a cage. And the last bloodlines was a mastery in seals and a special type of chakra that could not only suppress a biju but also drain the chakra of whatever they touch and give it back to the user and a special type of reserve called Ryatsu. Shadow finished getting wide eyes. Was that why Naruto-kun failed the academy three times? Because his reserves were so large? And what's Ryatsu? Ino asked getting a nod. Yes you see he's a rare case even in terms of children since he was born with Junin reserves already, by the time he got into the academy his reserves grew beyond that of the nine tails. You see our chakra is so dense and potent it's impossible to use so little to perform such low rank jutsu you can consider it a genetic defect of ours. Wuya enlightened getting wide eyes from the others. As for Ryatsu it's the spiritual aspect of chakra. We can use it without hand signs but through incantations or none at all if you're skilled enough. Shadow said with a grin. Ouch that one's going to leave a nasty bruise, Shadow added watching Naruto kick Kiba into a wall. But why was he so bad in the academy if you two trained him? Anko asked curious about her foxy friend, love interest. We told him to create a cover as a test to see if anyone would find out until the Chunin exams and it's safe to say he passed. Although like Serutobi said it's a bit disconcerting that his own sensei wouldn't teach him or Sakura anything. Shadow said frowning before shrugging it isn't a problem since he could fight Madara and the other three cage single-handedly as is. If you don't mind my asking Shadow-san what was that pressure we felt before? Shino asked monotonously. That is his proof of being a master of the Halen Arts and being the descendant of the Dragon of Chaos and Order Chase Young. You see the Halen Arts are considered dark and in all right they are. We can do things you could only dream of. Chase was also known for his ability to transform into a dragon and his use of all the natural affinities in the world, wind, fire, water, earth, lightning, yin, yang, yin yang all of them with ease although you all know him as the sage of six paths. Shadow explained getting wide eyes. Oh oh arena floor oh oh, Naruto, 
Stop playing with your food and show them what a dragon of chaos and order can do. Wuya said getting a disappointed sigh before Kiba's suga came close. Gotcha. Kiba shouted in glee as he was making contact when the entire arena floor was covered in smoke. Oh oh stands oh oh. What did he do? Ino asked feeling that pressure again from the before as both Wuya and Shadow's eyes gained a reptilian slid to them when a deep growl echoed through the arena. Actually Kibbles, it is more so I who has you. They all heard when the smoke cleared a massive black eastern dragon with red eyes and white lines spread across its body like Shukaku with long horns with nine tails. It wore Naruto's pants as they formed perfectly to his legs while instead of sandals he wore bandages around his feet. In his hand was the still spinning drill with Naruto's gunbai in his free hand. W.O. now that, that is so fucking hot, Anko, Ino, Sakura, Ten Ten, Hanada and Tamari said while Shadow and Wuya sniggered. Yes that was our train of thought too when he first transformed. This is the power of the descendant of the sage of six paths. Wuya said as they watched the drill slow down before Kiba was grabbed by the throat thanks to Naruto's tail unconscious. Dropping him he turned his focus to Akamaru who was whimpering before Naruto took a claw and scratched its ear getting a happy bark before laying Kiba on the stands. You're a true friend to this one Akamaru I just hope he learns it, Naruto said getting another bark. Turning to Hayate he said, so I take it I won? Receiving a nod he shrunk down to slightly above his average size of 6 feet 4 making him 7 feet 0 even walking the stairs as the match was called in his favor. Standing in front of everyone he received a variety of looks ranging from awe, love, interest and unrest as he said, what, do I have something on my face? Oh I don't know maybe the couple hundred pounds of raw flesh ripping, bone crunching body searing mass of scales in front of us dude what the hell naruto why the silent man act choji said getting a nod from the others scratching the back of his head as he sat down well firstly choji i'm more so a couple hundred tons when i'm at my full stature thank you i only weigh an additional 300 pounds as i am so i'm 412 pounds secondly it was for dramatic effect that caused all of them to face fault thinking at least naruto hasn't changed too much Yashigai Sensei Naruto Kun's flames of youth have their all time high. If I cannot defeat my opponent in as quick a manner as him, I shall run along Konoha 200 times before midnight. Lee shouted, getting a snort, making both him and Guy turn to see Naruto staring at them. Lee, Guy Sensei, what is I told you about yelling when people are around? Naruto asked sweetly, making everyone shake in fright. The two stammered at once, TT, that it is V very unyouthful to do so when they're right here. He gave the two a large thumbs up causing the junin to stare at him before Naruto's tail banged on the wall before pointing to the screen showing. Subaku no Gara vs Rock Lee, Yash it's finally my turn to fight watch Guy Sensei. Lee said running to the arena as Naruto chuckled. Still the same old Lee if anything his excitability hasn't changed in the slightest, Naruto said as Ten Ten nodded. The fight was amazing to say the least. Naruto knew Lee couldn't use Genjutsu or even Ninjutsu so to stand on even footing with others he put his body to the limits in Taijutsu day in and out he would work himself past the human point trying to prove he could make it out there in the world as a ninja who couldn't use either form of Jutsu except Tai. But this was a fight Lee was not yet ready for. He gave Gara a warning to not overstep his boundaries as he fought slightly more tame than usual according to Tamari and her team with Gara being the winner after Lee throttled him by opening a few of the hidden gates and passing out due to exhaustion. As medics as well as Guy, Neji and Ten Ten who said she wanted to talk to him later left with the medics to check on him the winners of the fight were called to the arena floor. The Hokage said as everyone had reached the arena floor, congratulations to the 10 remaining fighters of the Chunin exams. As you all know this was only the qualifiers for the finals which will be taking place in 4 months. 4 months. Many of the other genin complained save for Naruto, Gara, Hanada while Sakura was in slight disbelief. Naruto remembered it was originally 2 months but to give everyone enough time to prepare and master what they know and learn they decided to extend the time. So go rest and prepare for in 4 months you will be tested to see if you have the qualities necessary to advance to Chunin rank. Your opponents will be posted next month. Serutobi said as they all nodded before Sakura and Ino came by. What's up girls? Naruto said reverting to his human form as they shifted. We were wondering if you could help us train. I mean Asuma sensei is a good teacher but he just doesn't really fit what I'm going for. Ino said getting a shrug from the two women while they all looked at Sakura. And I was wondering if you could help me train for the finals. 
I mean I know you're going to be participating but I have doubts Kakashi Sensei would be any help and I don't even know who I'll be facing until the end of the first month and I want to show Kakashi Sensei what I'm capable of, she said getting a nod from Naruto. I can be of help with that, they heard seeing Sarutobi walk up with two chakra papers in hand. What's this Hokage Sama? Ino asked as he explained the paper's properties and did as they were instructed and a shock came to both of them. Sakura had a dual affinity for fire and earth which to Naruto made sense her hits hurt like hell and she had a hair trigger to match a shinobi with a fire affinity. While Ino had a lightning and water affinity too that seemed off to him but he digressed. I'll inform your parents that you'll have a trainer for the exams Sakura and I'll tell your parents that you're getting some additional training for the multi-month break Ino. So tonight pack your things and be ready he said getting a nod from the two of them. Oh Naruto be sure to give their parents monthly updates so they won't be worried and will know what they're up to. And as for you and Sakura you two are no longer on team 7 as Sakura you will be working with Naruto, Wuya and Shadow, he added getting a positive from the two. Although I suspect that Hinata will be with you training as well, if so do the same for her family, he said getting a final positive before he left. And you two be at my house at 6 in the morning sharp otherwise I'll drag ya to my house he said without warning as the two kunoichi nodded before running to their houses as the three shunshined away. Oh oh Naruto's home, room, oh oh, oh boy does it feel good to take a hot shower in my own home after some years. Naruto said falling face first on his bed in his large room before he was flipped onto his back with Wuya and Shadow next to him on both sides all three wearing their night clothes. Mmmhh yes it is nice getting to stay in our own bed after so long especially with you here. Wuya said kissing his neck getting a groan while Shadow sat on his other side doing the same while Shadow's hand trailed down his bare stomach before gripping his growing tent. My my it seems someone's got some pent up frustrations to release huh? Wuya said looking down at his straining member making him roll his eyes at their act as the three sat up with him kissing Shadow's neck while he massaged both their asses. Trust me you two will be helping me relieve those frustrations tonight, Naruto said using his chakra to trigger the noise cancelling seal. Uh I don't want to go to school today mommy, Ino groaned burying her head under her blanket. Hearing a knocking on her bedroom door she heard, Ino sweetie didn't you say you were going to stay over that sweet boy Naruto's house to train for the next four months? He's standing downstairs waiting. An eye cracked open under her blanket as it darted towards the alarm clock showing it read 5.45am making her throw the blankets off her showing she wore a tank top and a pair of pajama shorts before running to her shower to clean up. Oh man I gotta hurry. Ino said throwing her clothes off and getting in the shower. Oh oh downstairs oh oh hearing her daughter she said to Naruto who stood near the stair saying, I do apologize about my little flower she's not exactly a morning person Naruto-kun. He shrugged whipping a strand of hair out of his face saying, it's fine Rose-san I intend to fix that over the four months just watch after this your daughter will be stronger than you could ever imagine. Are you going to give her the news or should I? She asked getting a questioning expression on his face before he sighed. I suppose it would depend on the time. I would prefer to tell her after she gets there since I am a clone just give her this, he said when he dispelled in a puff of smoke after giving her a sheet of paper. Mommy wears Naruto-kun. You said he was here, Ino said looking around wearing a pair of black spandex shorts and a purple halter top with a duffel bag filled with clothes and necessities and another for her shinobi equipment. It seems that sweet boy made a clone to deliver the directions on how to get to his house it's almost six you better hurry sweetie. Rose said kissing her daughter on the head giving her the scrap of paper as she watched her daughter run out the house with a smile. Oh oh Namikaze Uzumaki compound oh oh. This is where Naruto-kun lives? It's larger than the Uchiha compound, Ino said looking at the gates of the compound when it opened showing hundreds of acres of land with various training grounds and homes with a large dojo to the side. Walking to the main compound she heard various growls around her in the forest areas making her get on edge before she saw Naruto walk up behind her with Sakura over his shoulder wearing a pair of pink boy shorts and a halter top as Naruto had two duffel bags for Sakura in hand. Naruto-kun I'm going to kill you for parading me around the village in my pajamas. Sakura screamed flailing around before Naruto put her down before he vanished in a plume of smoke. Sakura what the hell happened to you? Ino asked walking to her friend as she huffed. Well it happened like this, Sakura started oh oh flashback oh oh. Sakura get up Naruto-kun is waiting downstairs. The pinkette heard after shutting her alarm clock off for the tenth time. Mumbling she said pulling the blanket from over her head long enough. Five more minutes mom I'll see Naruto-kun later. I don't think he's going to give you that option, 
her mother said clearly making the young girl open her eyes to see Naruto stare down at her with a bored expression pointing to her clock seeing it read 6.01 am. I gave you clear directions to be ready and at my house by 6 and it seems you're still in bed so guess what? Naruto said with a bland expression. Shaking she saw her mom pull out two bags on her bed making her say, WW what? I'm going to have to, escort, you to my house Sakura-chan. Naruto said putting her over his shoulder getting an eep while he grabbed her bags. Take care of my daughter Naruto-kun alright? Mebuki said getting a nod from him as Sakura eeped as they walked through Konoha in broad daylight with everyone seeing Naruto walk the pink-haired teen outside over his shoulder in just her sleep clothes while her face had a permanent blush on her face. Oh oh flashback over oh oh. And that's what happened, Sakura finished looking at her friend when she saw Ino struggle trying not to laugh before she fell to the ground laughing making a growl from Sakura. Oh ha ha laugh it up Ino pig I set my clock late now can we go in? She said with a blush on her face as Ino got up wiping a tear from her eye. S sorry Sakura that was just too funny yeah let's go in, she said as Ino knocked on the door as it opened Wuya was seen at the other end wearing a pair of shinobi pants and a black karate gi with a red lining. Ah Sakura and Ino good to have you with us Naruto kun is taking a shower at the moment come in for a moment will you? Wuya said getting a nod from the two as they walked into the home while they stared impressed by the large home. Reaching the living room they saw a large portrait showing a beautiful woman with long red hair like Naruto's and royal purple eyes wearing a pair of black anbu styled pants with a black turtleneck with the anbu armor on top. She was in the arms of a man who looked like Naruto used to with blue eyes and spiky blonde hair wearing the standard junin attire with a white trench coat with red flames at the end with the kanji for yandaimi written on the back. She's so pretty but I think mom has a picture of her and herself together at the house, Ino said looking at the photo. Yeah I think mom does to buy the door at our house, she's Naruto-kun's mom? She's really beautiful and that man looks familiar, Sakura said when she and Ino jumped from the voice behind them. Yeah she was my mom's best friend she helped develop the taijutsu I used. Turning they saw Hinata wearing a pair of spandex shorts and a lavender sports bra drinking some tea with Shadow wearing a similar change of clothes as Wuya except she had a greenish blue top. Hinata. They said together getting an eye roll from the Hyuga heiress who continued to sip her tea. Yes it's me you think you're the only one who wanted training from Naruto kun? Also that familiar man is the fourth Hokage and at my best guess is from the photo is there his parents? Hinata said getting a nod from the two women. You're a sharp one aren't ya? Were Kashina Chan's cousins and through a contract Kashina Chan drew up some years before Naruto was born his wives I think Naruto kun's mom had some sort of arrangement between your parents? Shadow said getting a shrug from the others. Oh you're all here already I knew I shouldn't have taken a half hour shower, they heard turning to see Naruto with a towel around his waist with his upper body still wet making the girls blush while Shadow and Wuya purred. HH hey and Naruto kun H how are you? Sakura asked blushing as Naruto looked down to see a leopard come in with a pair of anbu styled pants and some boxers which he took before petting its head as it walked away as he slipped them on under his towel before slipped the towel away before drying his hair. You have a wild leopard in your house? Ino asked incredulously getting a shrug from the three. What? They're bred from the leopards, panthers, cheetahs and tigers in the forest of death. I would say they're, fourth or fifth generation and also they're spread around the compound acting as guards. They're all very dangerous even for shinobi capable of using jutsu somehow but if you don't show any fear and show them who's the boss they're as tame as a litter of kittens. Naruto said scratching a tiger behind its ear making it fall on its back purring. See tame, Naruto said prompting them to try it which they did after a moment of hesitation. Okay but why so many? Hinata asked getting a shrug. Well while I was growing up people tried to do a lot of things to me on occasion and to stop them I turned them into animals. They're gone now but they've bred some of the tigers, cheetahs, leopards and panthers that are around here. But that's beside the point, he said sitting with them at a table in the living room. Now I'm sure you three have quite a few questions of some form my mother's connection to yours, or why I live in here in the Yandaimi's compound, or some other question you all may have, am I right? Naruto asked getting a nod from them as Naruto leaned back on his seat. Well how about you each pick a question and I'll answer it to my best knowledge but no after I answer your questions we're going to have to figure out your training, Naruto said as Wuya and Shadow grinned. Looking at each other Hinata said, what connection does your mom have with ours? I mean I knew your mom was best friends with mine but it goes deeper than that doesn't it? Nodding Wuya said, 
Yes you see your parents are more so your moms made marriage agreements with our dear Ryu Kun before you all were born and with him being the last of the several clans. Once the Chunin exam finals come Serutobi will reveal his heritage but for now just know that he is the heir of four clans. The three went wide-eyed as they turned to Naruto who nodded while prompting them to ask their next question which Ino said, what are we going to do for training? Well we have four months to train and since we're finances should you agree you'd become members of my clan and capable of learning the Zhaolin and Halen arts as well as due to some events in the past you will become like me a dragon while you gain dragon-like physical traits one being scales, dense bones and various other effects I'll explain later. Naruto explained getting wide eyes from the others. B but how are we going to learn all that in four months when it took you 13 years? Sakura exclaimed getting a snort from them all. Oh Sakura one thing the Uzumaki were well known for was our Fuenjutsu. Naruto-kun created a space in the house that is outside the flow of time where time moves either slower or faster than it would. Essentially every month in the training ground will result in a year basically, Naruto explained causing their eyes to widen. H how is that possible to actually go outside of the movement of time Naruto-kun? Ino asked getting a contemplative look from Naruto. Well to avoid being overly complex, with the use of Fuenjutsu I created a training ground that can inhabit life just like the world and acts like it in a sense night day, weather patterns even the gravity is higher there for physical training, and the like I even have a compound that we will be using for all of us to stay at you following me. Naruto started getting nods. Alright now this is where things get really complex in of itself, there is a technique called space time manipulation, he started when Ino interrupted. Like your dad's Hiraishin? She said getting a nod from him. Yes like my dad's Hiraishin. With space time manipulation I put the room at a point where time flows differently with anything and anyone that is inside. Now there is a bit of a disclaimer you should understand, Naruto said getting a curious expression. You see with the flow of time it will affect your bodies so while you're all 16 now when you go in and come out after being marked should you accept the marriage proposal our parents wrote up you will have physically aged 4 years. He said causing their eyes to widen. So you're saying we will physically look like we're in our 20s? Hinata asked getting a nod from them. Yes but do note that the training ground can only be used in one year intervals so tomorrow you we go in and come out the end of the month while going in the first of next month and so on. Are you okay with this? He asked as they looked at each other when he heard a knock at the door making him raise an eyebrow. You all think about it and get back to me I think it's probably Gigi, Naruto said getting up when Wuya tossed him a black karate GI with a red belt. Oh oh at the door oh oh hearing the knocking he opened the door as Naruto saw one of the Hokage's trusted Anbu Neko as he asked, Hello Neko Nechan how are you? You need something from me? She nodded giving him a quick hug saying, Yes Hokage Sama wanted to see you Naruto kun. He nodded as he reapplied his genjutsu with his hair growing short and blonde again much to her amusement when Naruto's stoic expression changed quickly to his old boisterous persona. Shall we go Neko Nechan? He said with a grin getting chuckle from her before nodding as she used the shunshin to leave the area in a whirlwind of leaves leaving the girls to talk amongst themselves. Oh oh Hokage's office oh oh reappearing in the Hokage's office Naruto saw Hiruzen sitting at his desk with Ebisu next to him with a superior grin on his face which Neko noticed causing her to pat Naruto on the shoulder before leaving just the three in the room. Sighing Naruto said, you wanted to see me Gigi? Before Hiruzen could reply Ebisu interrupted, show some respect to your hokage you little brat rolling his eyes naruto said you said the same thing and i will say this i show gigi the respect he deserves because i don't use titles because it's disrespectful to the person now gigi what's up coughing into his hand he said yes it seems kakashi hasn't been seen in the village since the preliminaries and had asked ebisu to train you for the finals yes he said you had no sense of the basics or political knowledge so he ebisu started before naruto put his hand to the bespectacled junin's face so he decided to fix his failures since as a junin sensei it is his job to help his students when since the beginning he's done next to shit to help neither me nor sakura who also passed the preliminary round without his assistance while also learning about the fact i had a seal placed on my by orochimaru that screwed over my chakra control and chose to leave it on me instead of going to the hokage for help in removing it while blaming me for orochimaru coming to the chunin exams and attacking us unprovoked as he says he'll have someone remove the seal when he feels like it should he want it removed at all he finished making him stagger back and don't let me even ask if he bothered to ask about sakura winning her match 
or did the pathetic piece of shit just assume since she's the book smart fangirl ego stroking meat shield he thinks she is she'd lose as he hoped so the people judging the finals only have to focus on one student like he was hoping for me but had to make adjustments and got you who'd only teach me shit that an academy student knows which could potentially get me killed during the finals depending on my opponent naruto continued making him shirk back well you tell hitaki this and i want you to tell him this word for word got me naruto said getting a nod from him tell him that he is a failure as a junin a shinobi and a konoha shinobi at that he preaches about standing together and being a team and standing together when he did nothing to show for it he is a disgrace to the konoha name and a disgrace to his sensei his old team and every shinobi that konoha produces since he finds the fact that he will only train sasuke so important than sakura and i we will be fine on our own without his so-called help we'll be climbing the ranks while he goes around stroking the brat's ego just for him to get bit in the ass naruto finished walking away after biting the cage farewell h hokage sama are you really going to permit a genin to disrespect one of konoha's most well-known junin ebisu asked getting a nod from naruto yes yes i will and i do hope you tell kakashi exactly what he said today and give him this warning from him if Kakashi is late for the finals and should he Sasuke be even a millionth of a second late for his match he won't be given a second chance and he won't get any special treatment you understand me I don't care if he has the entire backing of my shinobi, the clans, the council even the daimyo am I clear? He said with a serious expression getting a nod making him dismiss Ebisu. Looking out the window he sighed saying, you really fucked up both of you Kakashi, Jiraiya and you don't know just how much. Oh oh streets of Konoha oh oh. Who the fuck does Kakashi think he is? To so simply dismiss Sakura and I just because we aren't some brat who solely relies on his fucking eyes. Naruto fumed walking down the street ignoring the glares until something caught his eye. What the hell is that? He thought seeing some shinobi jump out of the hospital window with someone over their shoulders making him narrow his eyes. Uh things can't get any more annoying can it? He thought jumping to the roof following them thankful he grabbed his equipment. Oh oh Namikaze, Uzumaki compound oh oh. I'm back, the girls heard making them turn to the hall to see Naruto walk in with Kinsuchi making the others raise an eyebrow. Um Naruto-kun why is an Otto Kunoichi here? Ino asked as she scooted over from her place on the couch to let Kin sit with her as he sat across from them between Sakura and Shadow. Well after Gigi had called for me, he started causing Ino to raise her hand. Yes Ino-chan? he asked as she blushed before straightening up. Um, who's Gigi Naruto-kun? She asked making him chuckle. Gigi is the Hokage. And I call him Gigi because he's like a grandfather to me. He said getting a nod from her allowing him to continue. As I was saying it would seem Kakashi asked for someone like Ebisu to train me in the basics and politics feeling that would be a better use of my time despite not knowing who I'm facing. It would also seem he didn't have any concern for you as he didn't even bother asking for someone to train you let alone see if you won your fight with Ino-chan. He said causing the girl to put her head down. After hearing that from Ebisu I decided to have him relay a colorfully worded message to our former sensei and let's just say team 7 will be disbanded should we do well but we have other business to handle, he said making her nod with a smile which he returned before schooling his features. On a heavier note it would seem the village is going to be in a bit of trouble that Konoha's renowned spy master failed to inform our Hokage on, he said getting wide eyes from those gathered. What do you mean Naruto-kun? Hanada asked getting a sigh. Well you see it happened after I saved our friend Kin Chan here from being kidnapped by her village and used as part of the plan. It seems Orochimaru doesn't just want the Uchiha but he also wants to destroy Konoha, he said making Hanada, Ino and Sakura gasp. An invasion? But how do you know that? Ino asked getting a shrug. Well let's look at the facts. A new village forms with nobody hearing of it, or their leader. Our only ally Suna sends a mentally unstable Jinchuriki to the village that's been stealing their missions which caused their economic downfall, and Orochimaru one of Konoha's most well-known traitors shows up during an exam just to give the brat a fucking hickey, he proposed getting a nod from Kin, Shadow and Wuya. He's right all of the facts just don't add to something as trivial as an experiment, he could have done this at any point in time but chose now of all times and he chooses to kidnap one of his own genin for this plan? Shadow supported as Kin nodded. I already had a summon send word to Gigi and let him know and Kin Chan will be under the clan's protection from this point on the request that during the invasion Orochimaru will have her friend acting as one of his elite guards. She wants me to get her to save her apparently she's an Uzumaki judging from what she described, he said getting a nod. So what are we going to do? Sakura asked getting a raised eyebrow. 
Well the Hokage is already preparing so on our end we have to prepare and where we're going we have four years worth of preparation to prepare for and so shall dear Kin Chan, he said getting a gasp from her. W.Y. me? She asked getting a raised eyebrow from Shadow and Wuya. You were targeted by your own village for whatever reasons Orochimaru had and we won't allow the pedophile to use you. Besides we've been wanting to add to the family and you're quite cute, Wuya said making Naruto groan. What does she mean? Kin asked getting a sigh from Shadow and Naruto. Naruto-kun here is the last of his clan Sakura, Hanada, Ino and I am his fiancés are more so Wuya and I or the others are still thinking it over. He's very nice and loving as well as loyal beyond measure, she said causing the brunette to blush. How about we let her decide after the four months and go from there also before we do anything you're all going to need to be fitted with seals that will help with your training, Naruto said as the two older women grinned to the four younger who gained an intimidated expression as Wuya and Shadow made a clone each as they dragged them to an empty room. Scratching the head of a nearby tiger on the head he mentally counted down, three, two, one. Kaya. He chuckled as he heard the combined screams from the four girls remembering how that happened to him. Oh oh ten minutes later oh oh walking out of the room the four were blushing with a bit of sweat on their foreheads making him raise an eyebrow before they each kissed him leaving him confused. Um, what not that a guy minds being kissed by four beautiful girls but what just happened? He asked getting a laugh from Shadow and Wuya. Well mate you see they wouldn't sit still for us to place the necessary seals on them so we put them under a deep illusion to get them to cooperate I guess we used a really strong illusion, Shadow said making him raise an eyebrow. And what was that illusion? Naruto asked getting a chuckle. Well it might have been your childhood and the night we shared when you graduated from the academy and it's safe to say they want part of it, Wuya said making stare at the two of them before sighing. Alright I we can let Hinata. Ino and Sakura-chan's parents know they accepted the contract and we can do the process in the training ground so can we go? Naruto asked getting a nod as they grabbed their bags while following him through the house. Oh oh random hall oh oh, so um nice, wall? Ino said confused looking at a wall in the basement that held a seal matrix along with various shelves containing jutsu of various elements, kenjutsu, genjutsu, fuenjutsu and taijutsu and even a small collection of space-time jutsu. The three chuckled causing the four genin to look at them strangely before Naruto clarified, Oh my sweet blonde this wall is actually our passage to the training ground so I hope you're ready and you might want to brace yourself because the gravity is a bit denser there and before anyone asks there are copies of these scrolls in the training ground so don't worry. How are we supposed to get in? Sakura asked when Naruto put his hand on the wall making the seal to swirl around as the room was flooded with light causing the four girls to cover their eyes while the three who experienced this already just stared dead ahead. This is how and you might want to watch your step the first one is always a trip, Naruto said making them look at the glowing portal as they followed after him while he and the others walked in as the portal closed behind them. Oh oh special training ground oh oh, ah, uh, Ino and the others groaned as they fell over each other making Naruto chuckle standing in front of them. Yeah like I said the first step is always a trip but why don't you all come and see your home for the following months, Naruto said as he helped them up letting them gasp at the sight of it all. The entire area was a bamboo forest spread as far as their eyes can see with large mountain ranges and waterfalls and streams spread around the forest. What really awed them was the massive compound in the center of the forest that was slightly smaller than the one in the real world. We're going to lead you to the bedroom we will all be sharing, Naruto said getting a nod from them as they followed behind him. Running what he said through their heads Ino said quietly with the others catching on, share a room all of us. Letting out a short laugh Shadow said, well of course as a ninja you have to be prepared at all times. That means we eat, sleep and bathe together besides we saw how you three looked at him when he came from his shower and you'll want to see more of his body and get used to him seeing your bodies. Not wanting to say anything the four just blushed followed after their target of affection. Oh oh duplicate of the Namikaze, Uzumaki compound oh oh like the real home Naruto and the girls gave Sakura and the others the grand tour of the compound while having them know that it is exactly like the one in the real world with minor changes such as there are only a few rooms that are actual bed chambers and indoor bathing areas. The rest of the rooms were vaults for various scrolls on various elemental jutsu, taijutsu, genjutsu, kenjutsu and fuenjutsu as well as training weapons. Showing them around he also lead them to an outdoor bath which the girls gushed over due to the large size of one of the larger lakes in the village having them place their bags in the room Naruto led them outside in the courtyard. Alright girls this is the low down for training. 
The first month is physical training meaning from sun up to sun down with breaks you will be doing physical training with the gravity and resistance seals. Tonight when I mark you all as Uzumaki your reserves will grow to match my own while tomorrow from then on I will have your clones practice all forms of chakra control without rest through the months to improve control over your soon to be massive reserves. For month 2 you'll be learning jutsu for your affinities and mastering said jutsu and riatsu training. Naruto explained getting them to nod. Um Naruto kun I don't know my affinity. Kin said getting a raised eyebrow from him before he grabbed a chakra paper from his pocket giving it to her as she pushed it into the sheet causing everyone to look on in surprise. The paper split the paper in four pieces the left square burned completely while the right to crinkle into a ball with the left got wet making Naruto whistle. Wow three affinities and a sub affinity from Suna and two from Kiri, did you know your parents Kin Chan? She shook her head telling them she never knew her parents because they died in an accident getting a sad expression from Naruto and the others. What about months 3 and 4? Hanada asked getting a grin from Wuya and Shadow while Naruto gave them a sympathetic look before schooling it. For month 3 we're doing taijutsu training for you Sakura and Ino the both of you only have the academy taijutsu and it's not exactly the best for you from all the time in the since the academy your bodies just didn't work with it. For month 4 you can pick some form of art to work on either improve your genjutsu, learn kenjutsu, you will all also learn fuinjutsu just for practicality but anything you want to work on in your downtime you're free to do so as you please, he responded getting a nod as he turned to shadow who nodded putting her hand in the ram seal causing the gravity and resistance seals to activate making the four collapse to the ground. Right now the seals are at three times earth's gravity while the world now is double earth's gravity so you're working with five times earth's gravity pushing down on you as the resistance seals are at double power, he said getting a growl from Sakura. You could have told us as a warning Naruto-kun, she said getting a shrug. Eh true so here's another one until your bodies adjust we're doing things lightly so for starters you'll do 5 sets of 10 push-ups, sit-ups, leg lifts, pull-ups, squat thrusts, crunches and 6 laps around the training grounds. We'll break for lunch in the afternoon which is in 5 hours and pick it back up from there once you finish we'll have dinner I'll give you all a massage in the hot spring to relax where I'll mark you so your reserves can grow through the night. He said getting wide eyes from the girls before they started with Naruto, Wuya and Shadow sitting on the porch watching. It is truly amazing how motivated a person can get with the proper incentive isn't it? Wuya said getting a nod from the two as they watched Ino and the others slowly adjust to the seals moving faster than before due to their determination. So Naruto-kun do we get a massage? Shadow asked sultrily getting a nod from him. Of course yours is tonight after they tire themselves out. Naruto said kissing them both on the cheek as they continued to watch the four train. Oh oh that evening oh oh. Ah my muscles hurt. Ino moaned wearing a purple two-piece bikini while Hinata and Sakura wore similar swimwear except Sakura's was a light pink color and Hinata's was a lavender color as they all laid on the smooth stone floor of the open air outdoor bath with a clone of Naruto giving them a massage. Screw my muscles I didn't even think it was. Oopp possible for my hair to hurt. Kin said borrowing a bikini from Ino which was black in color lying on her back with her Naruto giving her a full body massage fighting her hormones as were the others and failing miserably. Oh but this is so nice, Hinata said shaking feeling her Naruto's hands before they all felt a bite on their necks pushing them all over the edge when they stopped with the original Naruto letting them enjoy the feeling he saw a dragon forming a circle with two circles inside it appear on their necks. Alright you four get in the bath and be in bed early tonight you got more training coming in your training in chakra control, Naruto said leaving them in the bath as they sighed in relief. Oh oh the next day oh oh, uh is it me or did it get harder to move today? Ino asked getting a nod from her fellow genin. That's to be expected Ino chan the gravity and resistance seals adjust themselves automatically now as you all understand when I marked you all as my mates you became partial Uzumaki due to me injecting my chakra into you to make your reserves swell if you believe the stigma about the connection between the body and chakra reserves then after the training is complete your bodies will show it, he said making them smile before he shook his head. Now that you all understand I want you all to perform the shadow clone jutsu make as many as you all can. Naruto advised getting a nod from them as the area was flooded with over a hundred thousand clones of each making him nod before he, Wuya and Shadow made some clones. Good now I want you all to split it into groups and once you make even groups our clones will guide you to a part of the forest to train your control. Naruto said getting a nod from them as they formed large groups which were led into the forest by a clone. Now that they're gone through the entirety of the month they will be training in chakra control without stop. And since you have adjusted to the seals you will be doing double what you have before, he said getting moans. 
Hey hey no complaining I had to do 13 years of this at the regular time frame with more difficult experiences. Trust me this is a light modification of it because I was doing all the training you were with a boulder attached to me. He said making them turn to Wuya and Shadow who nodded. It's true he did and he did the same for chakra control as you all are now. Shadow said with a grin making them gulp. So let's get to work shall we because at the end of the month we'll evaluate your progress from where you stood to where you are now every month so when we leave for this month I will send a report to your parents Ino Chan, Hanada Chan, Sakura Chan as you will all gain your own copy of the report to see your progress. Naruto said getting a nod as they began today's training with greater progress than yesterday. I think you just lit one hell of a fire under their asses huh Naruto kun? Wuya asked getting a nod from him as he smiled lightly. Yeah I think so. Naruto stretching before taking a seat on the porch before ducking under a kick while grabbing a fist. Of course we can't let you fall behind now can we? Shadow said as they jumped into the field getting in a two on one spar against Naruto. Oh oh end of the one month period oh oh. Alright you four time to leave and rest if you wish to see and spend time with your parents feel free to do so and note that over the next three months you will continue physical training but we will focus primarily on what I mentioned earlier. Naruto said grinning seeing the four cheer after dispelling their clones. Over the month the four had grown strength and speed wise being faster than Lee was releasing the gates like he did over the first month. Sakura who was excited asked, Naruto-kun how much have we grown over the training? Seeing their excitement Naruto chuckled as he pulled out four scrolls that had their names on them which they took as the four read. Ino Yamanaka post first month training, physical fitness, mid genin. Stamina. Low Genin Chakra Reserves, High Genin Low Chunin, Chakra Control, Low Chunin Ino Yamanaka Pre First Month Training, Physical Fitness, High Anbu Stamina, High Anbu Chakra Reserves, Nine Tails, Chakra Control, High Cage Over the period of the first month, Ino Yamanaka has shown growth in her physical training as she trained in her reflexes, flexibility, strength, and stamina. That is to say in the beginning she and the others had a bit of trouble keeping up with the physical aspect but quickly grew into it as have their reserves. At the next month we will have her work on her jutsu so if you could be so kind as to lend Ino-chan some clan scrolls to learn from to improve on the Yamanaka jutsu. Sakura Haruno post first month training, physical fitness, low genin. Stamina. Low genin chakra reserves, low genin mid genin. Chakra control. Mid Genin Sakura Haruno pre first month training. Physical fitness. High Anbu stamina. High Anbu chakra reserves. Nine tails. Chakra control. High cage over the month Sakura had grown from her beginning as a leaf kunoichi and has grown into a respectable on at that. She takes to the physical training with determination and perseverance. Like her reserves, her strength continued to grow. Hanada Hayuga post first month training. Physical fitness. High Genin low chunin. Stamina. Low Chunin Chakra Reserves, High Chunin. Chakra Control. Low Chunin Hinata Hayuga Pre First Month Training. Physical Fitness. Low Sanin Stamina, High Anbu Chakra Reserves, Nine Tails. Chakra Control. High Cage Since the preliminaries Hinata had a hidden strength that was waiting to be unleashed which she had during her fight with her cousin Neji. That is to say her strength doesn't just lie in her Dujutsu or her Taijutsu. She shows a great promise for the medicinal arts when Sakura cut herself one day she used a medicinal salve created by Hinata. Kin Suchi post first month training, physical fitness, low chunin. Stamina. High genin chakra reserves, high chunin. Chakra control. Mid chunin high chunin kin suchi pre first month training. Physical fitness. High anbu stamina, mid anbu high anbu. Chakra reserves. Nine tails chakra control. High cage. Over the month in the training ground you've grown physically as opposed to where you stood prior. Your stamina and physical strength grew in spades as have your reflexes and flexibility. You've also grown to see us as family instead of walking on eggshells unlike when you first came here feeling like you would in the hell auto was like as you said and we have grown to see you as family. As they read it they all had a grin on their face while Kin hugged Naruto with a few tears after not having a family before she really felt accepted here as he patted her on the head with a kiss on the forehead making her blush before grinning. Now that we're all feeling better how about we go I can prepare lunch for everyone while you all go home and spend time with your families, Naruto said as they nodded following him out of the portal. Oh oh real world oh oh, alright we're back and I'm going to get started on lunch but for now you three go head home see your parents and give them the reports let them know how you're doing and spend some time with them, 
Naruto said getting a nod from them as they ran up out the stairs and out the house. My aren't they the excitable ones, Naruto said amused with Kin and the others nodding before they shrugged. Any ideas for lunch I'm open for suggestions, Naruto asked getting a shrug from them all as he copied walking up the stairs. Eh I guess I'll just make what comes to mind besides letters should have been sent telling us the round setups for the finals are, Naruto said walking to the living room when a leopard sat in front of him with a piece of paper in its mouth making him raise an eyebrow before patting its head getting a purr allowing it to walk away. I guess those are those finals pairings, Kin asked getting a nod from Naruto as he sighed reading the names. Round 1. Sakura Haruno vs Shikamaru Nara Round 2. Hanada Hayuga vs Subaku no Konkuro. Round 3. Sasuke Uchiha vs Subaku no Gara Round 4. Shino Aburame vs Subaku no Tamari. Naruto gets the bye and faces the winner of Round 3. Surprised Naruto said, Odd I could have sworn one of your former teammates was in the finals. Looking over her shoulders she looked for his name only to get a curious expression as Wuya said, maybe Orochimaru got him? I mean he tried to get Kin wouldn't be surprised if he got her teammates at some point prior to this. They shrugged as Kin said, well no skin off my teeth they're sick bastards who've done some pretty unforgivable things before all this so I ain't crying over their graves if anyone's expecting it. Nobody is expecting it sweetie we're just curious as to why Orochimaru could possibly want either you or your teammates. Shadow said as they saw Naruto think. Ryo for your thought Naruto-kun? She asked making the redhead turn. Oh I was thinking back some time ago while you girls were training me I found some scrolls in the Kinjutsu section and I remember it involving sacrifices to work. I just can't remember the name but I know it is by no means good, Naruto said seriously as he continued to think it over. You still got three months to think it over so you're in no serious rush Naruto don't want to overthink things and end up missing something. Kin said getting a nod from him as he sighed. Yeah, I suppose you're right but it just frustrates me to no end. I mean I swear the jutsu that fits what Orochimaru is aiming for is literally on the tip of my tongue but I can't get it, he said scratching his head before feeling a tap on his shoulder. Turning he was about to speak before Kin's lips covered his own before he closed his eyes grabbing her waist as they depend the kiss smelling her pent up arousal before separating. Did that help in any way? The former Otto Kunoichi asked sultrily getting a dazed expression before shaking his head. Why yeah that helped get my focus off of the jutsu I was thinking of, but I am seriously hungry and I know you all haven't eaten yet, I'm sure Hinata is eating with her dad and sister while Sakura and Ino eat with their parents for lunch I just have to think of dinner. Naruto said when Kin raised her hand still seated straddling his lap. Yes to the brunette sitting on my lap, Naruto said getting a nod. Why not something light and simple? She said getting a shrug from the others as he nodded kissing her again letting her get off. Alright I'll get started on dinner you all relax, Naruto said going into the kitchen putting a rag on his shoulder going through the fridge. Handsome, smart, strong and a good cook is there anything that could ruin this? Kin asked getting a negative from the two watching him waltz around the kitchen. Nah he's the perfect package he also knows how to clean and do laundry, Wuya said getting a nod from Shadow. My clothes never feel better until he cleans and presses my panties and clothes, Shadow supported getting a raised eyebrow from Kin as she turns to Wuya. He, cleans and presses panties, she asked rhetorically getting a nod followed by two smiles. Don't knock it till you try Kin you'll find you'll like how the creases makes them feel tighter more comfortable than before, Wei said watching Naruto sitting at the counter looking over the ingredients. Oh oh four hours later oh oh, we're back, everyone heard as the saw Eno. Sakura and Hinata walked back into the compound with several bags while Hinata placed a bundle on the table making him raise an eyebrow. Father was happy to hear about my progress and had asked for some of the side branch members to make some cinnamon rolls for you as thanks, she said getting a grin. That was nice of him. Dinner is ready so help yourselves, Naruto said putting the rolls in the middle of the table with steak, salad and soup for everyone to eat. So how was time with your families? Kin asked getting positive reviews from the others telling them their parents were proud of them and how well they've done. Well that's good to hear but I have to ask have either of you decided on a skill to learn during the fourth month? Naruto asked getting a nod from them all. Sakura and I wanted to take up medical ninjutsu, Hinata said getting a nod from him as he wrote some notes down. I was thinking on taking up fuinjutsu it seems interesting to learn from what I've seen you all do. Kin said getting a nod from him as he wrote it down. I was thinking on learning fuinjutsu and kenjutsu it would be good to know something than just using jutsu and swinging my fists, 
Ino said getting a nod from him as he wrote it down. Hanada and Sakura during month 4 will learn, medical ninjutsu. Kin during month 4 will learn, fuinjutsu Ino during month 4 will learn, fuinjutsu and kenjutsu. Oh the round pairings have been made and these are the rounds, Naruto said pulling the paper out of his pocket letting them read. So I'm facing the puppet master. Dot yay, Hanada said grabbing a roll as she finished her meal much like the others who enjoyed the taste. I get your lazy teammate Ino. Sakura said getting a sigh from the blonde. Just be careful of his shadows, Ino advised getting a nod from the pinkette Naruto putting the paper away. Alright everyone it's late let's get some shut eye tomorrow we're going back in, he said getting a nod from them as he created some clones to do the dishes. If you're all going to make your move tonight I suggest you do so and prepare yourselves he's on the large side, Wuya said getting a nod from them blushing as they all left for a room. Falling back Sakura collapsed on top of him with Kin doing the same while Hinata and Ino curled into him as he pulled the covers over them as they all fell into a state of silence letting sleep claim them. Oh oh the next morning start of the second month oh oh, so girls you enjoy yourselves last night? Wuya asked nursing a cup of coffee with Shadow getting blushes from the girls seeing Naruto leaning against the counter with a cup of coffee as well before flashing them a grin. Why yeah it was amazing, but we might need to practice more so we can go longer, Ino said getting a nod from the others. Oh well no rush on your part. Are you all ready for this month's training? Wuya said getting a nod from them. What was this month again? Jutsu and Ryatsu training right what is Ryatsu? Ino asked getting a contemplative look from the three. Well Ryatsu is the spiritual aspect of chakra. By separating it from the physical portion of chakra and drawing the energy from the world you can do various things with it from defensive techniques, to offensive to healing. When we reach the training ground we'll do the same you all did last month having clones work on the Ryatsu and Jutsu you all will continue on physical exercise and getting into a fighting style. Naruto said getting a nod from them. Alright Naruto-kun, they said making him smile before he remembered. Oh you know chan you said you wanted to learn a weapon for Kenjutsu right? He asked getting a nod. Any idea what type of sword you want to use? An Odashi, Shikuto, Okatana or a Katana? Naruto asked getting a negative. Well we can check during one of your breaks and see what fits you the best, he said getting a nod from the blonde. You all ready? He asked as they followed after him down into the basement. Of course. They said getting a grin, excellent let's get started then, he said as they walked through the portal once again. Reaching the third month Naruto, Shadow and Wuya have been helping Hinata and the others proceed further into their ninja careers as they continued to push themselves physically over the time and advanced in the arts as they learned an abundance of ninjutsu and genjutsu and they all made excellent progress in their training as they move into the third month of training which was the start of taijutsu training. Training with their riatsu was a slightly more difficult affair but it was by all means worthwhile. They had clones practice it every day from dawn to dusk trying to master the techniques. And as usual after the month is up they would return to their families and spend time with them for the day and come back to prepare for the next month while repeating the cycle. Oh oh special training ground oh oh. Alright everyone we're reaching the third month and as you know at the beginning of every day we train on your physical fitness, stamina and flexibility while also upping your gravity and resistance seals one last time which will help us shadow. Wuya and I have been examining you four to determine what style taijutsu is most effective for you. Naruto said getting a nod save for Hinata who rose her hand. Yes Hinata what's wrong? Shadow asked getting a timid expression from the Hyuga heiress. Um I already have a style remember, if I use a style other than the gentle fist I'll get grief from the clan for going against their ways. Hinata said getting a nod from Naruto and the others. That would be true but the style you're learning will fit you better as this style is a mix of the Hyuga style and two others making this more fluent and loose making it easier for you to fight. Wuya said getting a nod from the lavender eyed team. Okay so what styles will we be learning anyways that you examined us since month 1? Kin asked with her hands on her hips as Wuya tossed the four of them a scroll causing the four to read the names of the styles out loud. Opening her scroll Ino read, Snake style taijutsu trains on the kai as it goes for vital points such as the eyes and throat being common points. The snake's movements are flowing and rippling with emphasis on the fingers works well with lightning and wind affinities. Sakura read, Leopard style trains for muscle strength and is more precise than the tiger style as it relies on greater muscular strength. The leopard employs many crushing techniques and a lot of internal strikes with their hands as it gets in close to do its damage. Works best with earth, fire and wind for greater damage. Kin opened her scroll to read, Shaolin bird style. 
The strategic assumption is Shaolin bird style is that the opponent is larger and stronger. The bird stylist compensates by leaping in to deliver a flurry of strikes, and then leaping back out of range. Or, again, by goading the opponent into a charge and sidestepping while striking. Bird style relies on quick transitions between low and high attacks and stances, sudden reversals of direction, long range jumps to cover ground quickly, and well developed stamina. Bird forms emphasize elbows and finger thrusts to soft targets. The elements that work best are wind, lightning, and earth affinities. Hanada being the last read, the fluent talon dance is the mix of the white crane style and eagle claw style. The white crane style trains in flexibility and prefers to work at a distance from the opponent and it angles offline from his attacks. It requires great flexibility for its attacking and evasion techniques. The crane has excellent balance and is very at disturbing the balance of others. It has strong wings and uses them often and effectively. The eagle claw style is an animal style derived from the grappling art of Shaolin Shin Na. It relies on very powerful seizing, pinching, twisting, and locking techniques to immobilize or punish an attacker. Eagle claw stylists work hard on developing their grips to facilitate application of painful locks and nerve pinches. Like Jujutsu, Eagle Claw employs leverage and joint manipulation to defeat an opponent. Both styles work well with a wind, water, earth, and lightning affinities. All of these sound rather complex and very powerful, but to be honest, I haven't even heard of many of these styles, Eno said, getting a shrug from the two Halen warriors. That's to be expected since we've been working with the man who created many of these styles, while Hanada's is a mix of two bird style taijutsu that matches for your affinities. In fact, we have knowledge of practically every style in the world, or at least many of their predecessors. Shadow explained, getting an understanding expression from the Kunoichi. So, how will the training session work for the month? Sakura asked as she was excited to start her training. Well, as always, during the mornings, we'll start off with basic stretches and exercise while adding a bit of Tai Chi into the mix to help relax the mind and empower the body. From then on, we'll practice your stances to help you understand the movements and then practice the katas from beginner to expert while moving on to a spar to help you get better at it, Naruto said, getting excited nods as they were excited to start. So today, we'll practice the katas to help you understand the movements and work on your taijutsu. Once you've mastered the beginner katas, we'll move on to the intermediate and then after that, the expert, which you should reach near the end of the month and just in time for the final month to work on what you desire for that period. Wuya said getting an understanding nod making the seven grin at the new training regimen. Oh oh several hours later oh oh, I should be moaning in pain but this was really fun I'm stronger than I was before and I'm even faster actually I learned more in these few months than I had with Hitaki in the span of our team forming. Sakura explained getting a nod from Naruto and the others after finishing the first day of training. I agree it shows in your training. To be honest you're actually stronger than Kakashi to be honest by the end of this year you could be as strong as Asanin. Shadow said as the pinkhead gave a large grin as her slited eyes glowed in excitement to show the village how strong she's gotten her former sensei included. Alright let's eat and then get some sleep we have more training in the morning and I don't want you all to lose the momentum you've got going alright? Naruto said getting a nod from them as Naruto got up after eating his food. Where are you going Naruto-kun? Ino asked seeing him stretch with his arms over his head. I intend on getting a bit of shut eye myself I still got some seals to work on and I want to work on some techniques that I haven't quite managed to get to work right, I managed to pull it off once but I haven't after that, Naruto said getting a confused look from the four girls. What are you working on Ryu-kun? Kin asked as Naruto sighed sitting due with the others back at the table. Well what I'm working on is based off one of the Mangekyo Sharingan's abilities called Kamui which is a space-time ninjutsu where I can send anything the technique hits in another dimension with whatever's been captured and capable of leaving unless the user willed it also works in my regard as I can make myself intangible for a short period of time. Naruto said getting interested looks from the four. So what is it you're working on? Shadow asked getting a contemplative expression from Naruto. Well what I want to do is use Kamui in several variations one is to teleport myself to my opponent with an attack that would normally miss or makes me intangible while they attack making the counter impossible. Another technique I could use is to make shuriken made out of the Kamui and I toss them to suck them into the space I could pull this off with a variation of my father's Rasengan that I finished with several different forms but you get the idea. Naruto explained getting wide eyed looks from the others. So what you're working on is an attack that traverses space and time which could also act as a means around anything or capture a target but also lets you move around. Wuya explained getting a nod from Naruto as he created the shuriken before it started to expand making Naruto had it get sucked back into the space. You see what I mean I can't pull off the technique, 
I still gotta practice with it to make it stabilize but for now let's rest because through the month the girls are training you. Naruto said getting a nod from the others as they filed into the sleeping quarters. Oh oh the next morning oh oh. All right girls I'm heading into the forest I'll be in there trying to make those jutsu and try to make them work. If I finish it by today then I'll see you later if not at the most I'll see you at the end of the month. Naruto said having supplies packed up as the others tackled him with a hug and a kiss. Don't worry about a thing Ryu kun we'll be sure to keep them on their toes until we see you again. Wuya said getting a nod and a grin from Naruto as he walked off and into the forest. Seeing him walk off into the distance until he disappeared in the thick greenery shadow said, All right you four just because Naruto kun's not here doesn't mean you get to slack off let's get training. They nodded starting the day with the assigned schedule of workouts and tai chi. Oh oh in the forest oh oh reaching a lake with a waterfall Naruto set his pack down as Naruto had his clones make a camp as Naruto shed his clothes changing into a pair of black loose pants with two red stripes going up both legs with a white sash around his waist keeping them up with his dujutsu active. Alright I'm going to get training the rest of you I want you to practice the variations of the other techniques while I work on the kamui techniques. Naruto said getting a nod from his recently made clones performing his annual training method. Okay Naruto the Kamui technique requires focus and control, kind of like the Rasengan lose focus and it blows up in your face, so to get the Kamui shuriken. To work properly you must stay calm and focused once. You do that we can try doing it under pressure and increasing the amount you make like you did with the intangibility, he thought to himself creating a standard three-bladed shuriken styled Kamui in his hand that wobbled and started to shake before Naruto put more focus into the technique making it grow slightly larger than the average and shook more furiously making Naruto sweat trying to get the control down before he tossed it at a tree which was promptly swallowed up into the space. Putting his hands on his knees Naruto huffed catching his breath saying in exhaustion, man this is going to be harder than I expected. Not one to be deterred he performed the Kamui shuriken technique again only for it to work slightly better than the first had before it with a large radius of effect and lasted a few seconds longer making Naruto give a tired grin. Well all fucking right making some progress. Naruto thought seeing the effects of the jutsu deciding to keep up the momentum and did another just to blow before hitting the next tree. Seeing the damage in the area due to the jutsu Naruto couldn't help but whisper out in frustration, well fuck. Now he understood how frustrating the Rasengan was for his father to make and master if it was anything like this, not even any of his own handmade jutsu were this difficult to do let alone work properly. Oh well. One step forward another ten steps back he suppose while continuing the process again time and again. Oh oh last day of the month oh oh, man I thought the Kamui shuriken was tough but this is just ridiculous. Naruto screamed in his head creating a Rasengan in his hand that was black with a white core when blades made of wind formed on the sphere moving in the opposite direction the sphere was rotating giving it the appearance of a shuriken when a black shuriken appeared under that moving in the same direction of the Rasengan. Taking a deep breath Naruto closed his eyes when they snapped open allowing three small bijudama danced on the two shuriken as Naruto tossed it giving the desired effect of the sphere grinding into the large rock before the wind made shuriken exploded outwards with the three bijudama giving a huge explosion with a large white dome in the distance before it was sucked in by the kamui before exploding harshly outward making Naruto grin as his hair whipped around from the wind. Jumping to the top of a tree Naruto looked around the area before shouting out in success, finally, Half a fucking month of those two jutsu blowing up in my face and I finally managed to combine the bastards ha ha ha. Calming down Naruto thought and said lowly out loud, and if anyone were to see me they'd think I was out of my mind while I laughed like a maniac. Seeing the damage to the area was greater than he first thought he focused on the areas remodeling as the trees grew back as did the ground the wind part of the rosin shuriken created. Thinking to himself while looking at his hands, so I've made several variations of my futon rosin shuriken and a rosin shuriken that is infused with the enten. Kagetsuchi all of which are at least s rank in power, I guess I got all I was working on done. Sitting on a tree branch Naruto thought, I guess I can finish up and check up on the girls it's almost time to go anyway. Jumping down he nodded to himself before heading to the compound. Oh oh replica compound oh oh, oh there he is. Ino said as Naruto walked out from the forest as the girls all turned to him with their bags on hand while Shadow and Wuya packed his own much to his appreciation. Sorry I'm late I got sidetracked and lost focus a bit but upside I finally finished those techniques and wow you four look like you've been through hell huh? Naruto said with a grin making the four women shoot him a glare which he promptly ignored. You'd be proud with how well and quickly they adjusted to their new fighting styles. 
In fact they already have pretty good use of their styles mixed with their affinities. Shadow said getting a grin from Naruto. Nodding Naruto said, That's great to hear I honestly had no doubt but are you four excited for the final month? They each handed him the reports as Naruto opened them up reading. Ino Yamanaka pre-third month training, physical fitness, cage, stamina, mid-cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, three tails, taijutsu, mid-high genin ninjutsu, low genin ino yamanaka post third month training, physical fitness, high cage stamina, high cage chakra reserves, nine tails, chakra control, six tails taijutsu, high anbu high cage, ninjutsu, High Anbu High Cage over the third month you've grown further in Taijutsu just like your ninjutsu which grew over time. Sakura Haruno pre-third month training, physical fitness, low cage. Stamina. Cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, three tails. Taijutsu. Low genin ninjutsu, low genin Sakura Haruno post third month training. Physical fitness. High cage stamina, high cage chakra reserves, nine tails. Chakra Control, Six Tails Taijutsu, High Anbu High Cage, Ninjutsu, High Anbu High Cage With practice and determination you have grown in skill while showing a strong proficiency in Ninjutsu as well as control over your chakra when you accidentally recreated Tsunade Senju's super strength. Including that in your Taijutsu along with your affinities you become a serious threat to anyone who crosses you. Hanada Hayuga Pre-Third Month Training, Physical Fitness, Cage, Stamina, Low cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, three tails. Taijutsu. Mid genin low chunin ninjutsu, low genin. Hanada Hayuga post third month training, physical fitness, mid cage high cage. Stamina. High cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, six tails. Taijutsu. High anbu high cage, mixed of Hayuga taijutsu and fluent talon dance. Ninjutsu. High Anbu mid cage over the training period Hinata's Taijutsu has shown that the original Hayuga Taijutsu was too rigid for her due to her affinity towards water and wind so to compensate we have combined the aspects of the gentle fist with two other fighting styles that focused on the same points allowing her to utilize her flexibility. Kin Suchi pre third month training, physical fitness, low cage. Stamina. Cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, four tails. Taijutsu. Low chunin. Purely defensive, ninjutsu, mid genin high genin, soul genjutsu knowledge. Kin Suchi post third month training, physical fitness, mid cage high cage. Stamina, mid cage chakra reserves, nine tails chakra control, six tails. Taijutsu, high cage ninjutsu, high cage, knows elemental jutsu and increased genjutsu knowledge. Over the period your weakness in taijutsu became non-existent as you're trained and while you took more blows than you dished out that slowly changed where you no longer had to worry about what if your genjutsu fails you. Impressed with their results he gave a satisfied nod smiling as he said, I'm impressed although I always have been now shall we go our ride should be here in, 3, 2, dot 1. On cue the portal out opened as they grabbed their bags and walked through the spiraling portal before it closed behind them. Oo oh, oh, Namikaze Uzumaki Compound Oo oh, oh, Walking to the Living Room Ino said, So Naruto-kun when do we get to see that crazy jutsu you used in action huh? He chuckled saying he sat on couch opposite to them. Well that depends Ino-chan I also developed several other jutsu but this one is a bit too destructive if I used it in the village. If I had to use it then it would be if I have a lot of enemies in the area or outside the village due to how much damage it does. Naruto almost all the jutsu you've made are destructive to where it could be considered blasphemy to call them s rank since s ranks don't do nearly as much damage as the ones you made. Wuya said getting a chuckle from Shadow agreeing. Are they really that dangerous? Kin asked getting a yes from the two women and a no from Naruto as the three stared at each other. Yes they are one jutsu he made makes a massive dragon out of lightning that jumps into the sky and crashes back down at you at a speed of one one thousandth of a second faster than that of sound making it practically impossible to avoid. Then there is the several other jutsu Naruto's made that could win him a war with just one because he'd wipe out the army with it alone. Shadow explained getting a groan from Naruto. Okay, maybe they are a tiny little bit lightweight destructive but I still stand by my opinion of them being more tame than the average s rank jutsu. Naruto defended lamely getting eye rule from the two older women. Seeing the time Ino, 
Hinata and Sakura got up as the blonde said, We're going to see our parents Naruto kun see you in a bit. The other two said the same, each giving him a kiss on the lips or cheek before running out as Kin got up, stretching, hearing an audible pop, followed by a groan of pleasure as she got up, saying, Well, guys, I'm going to take a soak in tub. Watching her run to the bathroom, Naruto leaned back into the couch with his feet propped up on the table as Shadow and Wuya melded themselves into him, enjoying the peace and the break between training, moaning, and content. Ah, I love these moments between rigorous training periods. Wuya said with her head in the crook of Naruto's neck like Shadow had nodding in approval while Naruto rolled his eyes knowing they were being playful a thing they switched between serious and playful as those were practically the only two sides they had with the occasional and rare pissed side that rarely reared their heads. You love any moment where you can do this or more if you get the chance, Naruto said getting silence form the two when he closed his eyes enjoying the feeling of peace with their breath on his neck with him rubbing their backs. What just because he called them on it didn't mean he didn't enjoy it as well thinking back he planned on running over the girls last month of training to get them a good grip or if they needed to stay in the training ground again for this last month or not. Shrugging mentally he figured he'd sleep on the pros and cons and come to a final idea in the morning as he knew that their training has been absolutely fruitful in all forms as they stood above that of many of the junin and quite possibly some of the cage when they get some actual combat experience which is going to happen most assuredly. Hearing the bathroom door open he and the others saw Kin walk out wearing a black thong with a fishnet top one of the things that changed about them was they were more confident in their bodies and wore underwear that showed that or clothes in general that showed they have gained more confidence in themselves. Ah nothing like a nice bath to relax after a long training session I may like the open air baths more but there's just no beating sitting in a tub and relaxing. Kin said dreamily with a towel on her head slipping on a pair of bike shorts. So Naruto kun I have a question to ask. Kin asked watching Naruto lazily open an eye to show she had his attention. You kinda already asked one but I can let it slide, he said with a bit of humor getting a chuckle from the former Otto Kunoichi. Well from what you told me about why Orochimaru tried kidnapping me and the others what could they have wanted with us? You never told us what jutsu he was going to use that involved us, Kin said getting nod from Naruto and the others. I suppose I didn't, well after a bit of research through the kinjutsu section I found out what he wanted you guys for. He paused getting the girl's attention as she stared at him. And, what did he want us for? The genjutsu user asked getting a sigh from Naruto. He intended to use the Edo Tensai a forbidden jutsu. To bring the dead back to life by using sacrifices of other people as the payment for bringing them out of the afterlife. Of course the Edo Tensai brings the dead back with their original chakra reserves and the knowledge of everything they experienced before their death the jutsu they used included while also being hard as hell to kill as they are in that state. He said seeing the team go green before quirking an eyebrow as did Shadow and Wuya who were curious. How are they hard to kill? I mean they're still humans go for the heart or head and they die don't they? Kin asked with the two others nodding getting a negative from Naruto. I thought the same and that isn't the case because they draw chakra from the environment which restores them you have to either remove the chakra from them or destroy the seal that's been embedded in them upon summoning and the fact they can't fight against the one controlling them and are forced to obey their command is another fact since they just won't hold still to let you destroy it, he said getting a grimace form the three. Yeah now I see what you mean Ryu kun, Wuya said getting a nod from the other two as Naruto got up with a groan stretching getting a loud pop from his back. I wonder should we do the last month of training here outside the training ground or inside like we always have? I mean this is basically a cool down period where you can take the option of learning an additional art should you want, Naruto asked Kin. I don't know I mean it would be useful to at least get a better grasp as everything we have and know could be of use during the invasion. So if I had to give my opinion I'd say in the training ground especially if I'm learning Fuenjutsu which is the most difficult art to learn and even more difficult to master. Kin proposed getting nods from the tree in front of her. I guess we'll have to wait for Hinata, Ino and Sakura's opinion before then huh? Shadow said getting a nod from the others. Seems like it's Shadow, Wuya said agreeing although she hated waiting for things like this she knew that it was for the others best interest to help them reach their full potential and after all Naruto was to rebuild his clans and the Halen and Jaolin way his wives needed to be powerful and to help lead their children to the same strength as they show the world that the Uzumaki, the Jaolin and Halen were no longer a distant memory. Succumbing to making idle conversation they continued to chat at the pros and cons of not using the training ground for this month when the others returned as time became lost to them all the while Naruto had a clone prepare dinner not wanting to stand in front of a stove. Stopping mid conversation Kin said, hey you guys how was your time with your folks? The three told them about their time with their parents and how proud and excited they are to see how do in the finals with their entire families backing them up. 
We were actually discussing on what we should do for the last month and if we should do it in the training ground or outside for once my vote was in the training ground to buy us some time and be as prepared for the invasion as possible. Kin said getting the three to think it over. I agree with Kin on this one we don't know what else is going to happen so it would be best to have all of our bases covered or sure that they're loaded at least, Eno said giving her vote. I think it would be best to at least have a decent step forward for the last month and understand what we're training in for this month if we bear more fruit from the training ground or outside is your call. Sakura said not caring which one they chose in the end. Turning their attention to the Hyuga she said, I say we do the training ground so we can get a large step forward for this if not for ourselves but for the villagers since the hospital doesn't even have any competent doctors so having more medics with knowledge of techniques and field experience is useful. Hanada said stoically getting a nod from the others seeing her point making the others nod. Well then for the next month it's the training ground and we'll each be personally teaching you for your arts and prepare you for the incoming shitstorm. Shadow said clapping her hands as the others nodded getting ready to eat and relax as Naruto was stuck thinking. What's up Naruto-kun? Sakura asked getting a look from Naruto before he regained focus. Sorry I was just thinking on how we could work last month since you're all doing your own thing I mean Hinata and Sakura wants to learn medical ninjutsu, Kin you want to learn fuinjutsu and Ino wants to learn fuinjutsu and kenjutsu, I'm just trying to figure out how to balance it all out, Naruto explained when Kin said she also wanted to learn kenjutsu along with Ino getting a nod from Naruto. Why don't you just have clones overlook each of us for training like for fuinjutsu and medical ninjutsu? Ino said getting a nod from the others liking the idea as he shrugged. Alright I don't see why not, Naruto said as they finished their meal and went to bed. Oh oh final month of training oh oh. Alright for this month we're focusing solely on what you wanted to practice in so for Ino and Kin I want you both to create some shadow clones to train in fuinjutsu, and the two of you will be learning kenjutsu from shadow and I, Naruto said getting a nod from the others. For medical ninjutsu Wuya and a clone of me are the ones who are going to be training you in medical ninjutsu. He said as the two nodded with clones of Naruto left with everyone leaving just Naruto, Shadow, Ino and Kin to the field. As Shadow faded into her own shadow as it went into the compound Naruto said, All right now for Kenjutsu you have to understand that the sword isn't just a tool like a shuriken or a kanai or senbon but it is an extension of you as you are an extension of the blade. How is that possible? Ino asked with Kin wondering the same as Naruto tilted his head to the side thinking of the best way to explain. I suppose a way to explain is you imagine the sword as a part of you as if it were just an extension of your arm you following? He said as the two thought it over before nodding. So what style are we learning? The blonde asked as he showed them the sword style called Hidden Mitsurugi style. It was developed to allow a single samurai to defeat numerous foes single-handedly. Practitioners of this style use a combination of near superhuman speed and agility known as Shinsoku. Or God Speed. Badojutsu, an acquired, observation based pseudo clairvoyance in order to avoid the attacks of their opponents by the least possible margin and with the least possible effort in order to place themselves in the perfect position to strike in the very instant the opponent's strike misses, and stresses two step attacks in order to ensure that any and all who oppose it are thoroughly slain. He explained getting wide eyes from them. It was a style my mom invented and which helped her win the third war with my dad as she was called the Red Death. Naruto said after a while the two chuckled making him raise an eyebrow. Listening to them laugh as Shadow returned she asked. What's got the two cackling like a pair of hyenas? He shrugged when Ino gasped out. Why your mom was red A and your dad was yellow S so you're orange. Giving a fake chuckle he said as Shadow pulled out two boken with a slightly wider sheath for them. Ha 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 oh you're hilarious Ino-chan just for that we're staying up late to run through the kata. Tossing them both the boken while Kin shot Ino a glare who shrunk back catching them before slumping to the ground Ino said. W what do these things feel like I'm holding a thousand pounds. I did tell you that the style is about near superhuman speed and agility this also applies for drawing speed and badojutsu waste a second and it could be your last. That's the thing about kenjutsu your opponent will be fighting you with their fist in taijutsu or some other weapon mainly kanai or shuriken. He said as shadow and him held a boken as well. But with Kenjutsu your opponent will be in a hurry to end you because with a sword you have the reach and advantage because they're trying to stay out of your now extended reach and a single slip up from them is a gain for you. He said swinging the practice sword with obvious practiced ease. We'll begin with teaching you the beginner kata and we'll go further into it. Should you do well and master the beginner stances we'll go into making your swords for you both that can channel your elemental chakra. Shadow said getting an excited grin from the two. Oh oh by the lake oh oh. 
Okay U2 Medical Ninjutsu is some technicality the second most difficult technique to master next to Fuinjutsu due to the fact that you have to have absolute control over your chakra and be able to convert it into a healing chakra in fact only Tsunade is considered an actual master because of her Senju bloodline of perfect chakra control. Wuya said getting a raised hand from Hinata. Wait does that apply to her super strength as well? Hinata asked getting a nod from the redhead. Yes although she does it in controlled bursts that when released with perfect timing she can do devastating damage. Should you combine this with your taijutsu either of you it would be even more devastating to whoever has hit something Sakura used to do to Naruto albeit unintentional. She said causing the Hyuga to shoot the pink at a Byakugan infused glare while her eyes darkened to a more noticeable lavender color with a solid ring in both making her raise her hands in surrender. It was back when I was a foolish fangirl for some brat who focused more on killing his brother over actual relationships or even friends I changed and I did apologize you know. Sakura explained seeing the veins on the side of her eyes fade as did the color and ring although the glare was there if only subsided slightly. Wuya seeing this chuckled before reining it in said, Alright now the first step to practice is similar to working on your elemental affinity. We're going to practice reviving a fish. Wuya said as she grew a long two-toned red dragon tail that slapped the water bringing two decent sized fish from the bank as they landed in front of the two as the member retracted back into her. Raising her hand to prevent them from starting the process they waited for the two fishes to stop flailing around as they stopped gasping for air before putting the hand down allowing them to take a shot at it after explaining the process. She knew this was going to be difficult to learn despite all their time practically abusing the shadow clones to master their control knew that they could speed this up using clones but she was always a stickler for good old fashioned hands on training like the witch did with Naruto. Seeing them try and fail for the tenth time she scratched her head thinking in exasperation, this is going to take slightly longer than I thought it would. Oh oh Chunin exam stadium viewers box oh oh, man I can't wait to see the fights. Enko said in her seat next to the other Junin save for Kakashi who along with Sasuke have yet to be seen in the village since he and Sasuke left prematurely during the prelims. You just want to see Naruto fight again, Kuranai said seeing her best friend blush as did she intent on seeing how he changed from the loud mouth to the Y redhead they saw during the preliminaries. Don't act like I didn't see you I hump him either Kurchan and besides aren't you here to cheer for your students? Enko said ignoring the huff from Asuma and Kiba despite the red-eyed woman nodding. Of course I'm cheering them on though I am disappointed Kakashi isn't even here to cheer his team on or the fact he hasn't come with Sasuke the matches are about to start in him. Sakura, Hanada, Naruto or that boy from Sound aren't even here yet, Kuranai said when they heard. Don't worry Kuranai-san they're already here. Hearing this they saw Wuya, Shadow as well as Kin and Ino both of which changed their attire. Ino wore a pair of black spandex bike shorts that reached. Mid thigh that was covered by a purple apron like skirt with a long slit on the side with bandages and a fishnet shirt that was covered by purple cloth that was sewn together leaving the top of her visible while it came around the neck forming a collar with the bottom of the being covered and coming down to a point just above her navel with two detached sleeves with a long katana at her hip tied to her waist and a pair of anbu styled sandals. Kin wore a pair of black leather pants that rested just on her waist with a brown leather strap coming around her waist holding her pouches with various supplies and seals. For her top she wore a small kimono that left the chest open showing a black muscle shirt that opened slightly showing her cleavage and a pair of sandals with a katana just like Ino. The most noticeable difference was she sported a Konoha headband that acted as a belt buckle. Wow look at you kids hopping to catch someone's attention blonde? Anko said knowing she had a long standing crush on the local Uchiha getting a negative. Nope already got it and I decided to change my clothes if only slightly. Anyways Naruto, Hanada and Sakura are going to be here in a bit. She said sitting next to her who sat a seat away from Kiba who was eye humping her and the others who shot him a glare. Actually here they come, Ino said pointing to the stands seeing the tornadoes made of water, fire and lightning. Uhh flashy entrances, Anko said with a grin getting an eye roll from her friend who wondered why they were friends. Oh oh stadium field oh oh when the tornadoes dispersed in the center of each stood Naruto wearing his usual attire while Sakura and Hinata changed their clothes. Hanada wore a modified Hyuga kimono top which was lavender around the collar, sleeves and from the mid region while on the shoulders to the end of the sleeves were white with black shinobi pants with two large pouches and holsters on her person and sandals with her hair done like the usual Hyuga with the end of her hair tied together with a band. Sakura wore a modified version of her clothes in the academy. 
The sides of her dress were removed making it act as more of a poncho effect with a collar open attached that descended down to the middle of her S which were covered by a black line in her fishnet shirt attached to said shirt with a pair of spandex shorts that reached her upper thigh and sandals completing her clothing with a pouch for her supplies and a holster on her thigh. She kept her hair long with her bangs on both sides being parted showing her forehead with her hair done in a ponytail and three things of hair that were up on the back of her head resembling soccer a petals. So we have 3 out of 4 no shows here and on that note I will now announce the round matchups due to some unforeseen circumstances within the break period for those who forgot about the flyers handed out with the round matchups Dosu Kinuda has been found dead and due to this who he was supposed to fight got the bye and the matches had to be rearranged, Genma said as he announced the matches. Now do know that if I don't call your name your asses are up in the competitor's box, he ordered as they nodded. The first round match UPS will now commence between Sakura Haruno and Shikamaru Nara, all other competitors go to the box and wait for your round, he announced as the crowd cheered but none more boisterous than Sakura's family. Oh oh competitors box oh oh, Pinky doesn't stand a chance the kid beat that sound girl no problem and she barely won against blonde, the makeup wearing sand ninja said getting a blank expression from the others. Hanada said loud enough for him to hear, so says the one who hid while his puppet did the fighting. What did you say pale eyes? He roared getting a standard Hyuga glare from Hinata making him flinch back as she got in his face. I'd watch myself if I were you because the moment our fight starts I have every intent on taking you down or out what you say and do between then and now will decide which I do got me. She asked getting a frightened nod from him before hiding behind his sister who couldn't take her eyes off Naruto which Hinata noticed and gave a grin. Oh oh stadium floor oh oh, troublesome why is it that I have to fight a woman a second time since the exams? Shikamaru groaned as Sakura shot him a glare as she cracked her knuckles. You know what's even more troublesome? Sakura said pulling out a pair of fingerless gloves with metal plates on the back of both hands from her pouch before pulling them on with a snap. Giving a groan the lazy Nara said not really wanting to know, and what would that be? Giving a grin as her eyes gained slited pupils she said, I have to deal with someone who can't bring himself to try I mean you do know your mom is watching and if you don't put your all into this she'll make a cast iron molding of your head with one of her skillets for her collection. The Nara clan heir had to suppress a shiver when he got in a stance when they nodded to Genma who nodded as well saying, the first round shall now commence. Seeing him jump back the Nara only had enough time to barely dodge a blow to his head when her fist embedded it into the ground causing a massive earthquake making the ground shatter making everyone watching go slack jawed. Jumping on a piece of upturned rubble Shikamaru thought with a bit of sweat forming on his forehead, and here I thought blondes were troublesome. Oh oh in the stands oh oh, holy shit, Anko and every other Junin said in shock seeing the slug princess's famed super strength being performed Wuya and Shadow sniggered. Yeah training her, Hanada, Ino and our little soundbird here with Naruto kun was fun during those four month Hanada and Sakura have a talent for medical ninjutsu in fact they've adapted their taijutsu to use Tsunade's Takenkei after a bit of practice although it still takes work to pull it off. Wuya said seeing Shikamaru dodge from a barrage of flying rocks that Sakura sent flying from each punch she used on the rubble from her first blow. Oh oh arena floor oh oh. You can't run forever Shikamaru you'll have to make a move sooner or later. Sakura said in a cloud of smoke as the Nara air sat behind some more rock hiding thinking of a plan. Okay she's definitely improved over the four months at the most her strength is comparable to Tsunade's so her taijutsu and physical training has improved to possibly that of a chunin or low tokabetsu junin, her unknowns are her ninjutsu and genjutsu, he thought hearing warning bells in his head making him substitute with a random log. Seeing her stagger for a bit Shikamaru performed the basic of the Nara clan's techniques and extended his shadow only to curse as the gravel and upturned landmass made it difficult to keep it going to her when she turned to him before looking down to see his shadow only being a hair's length away from her making her jump back out of reach again. Narrowing his eyes he thought, peachy she's faster, definitely more powerful and I know for sure I get hit once by one of those and I'll be unconscious. Heaving a sigh he thought, I should have just forfeited when I had the chance but I guess I'll have to make do. Reaching into his pouch he gripped the object inside when Sakura made her way over to him saying, hold still. Just as her fist was about to make contact he brought his hand up opening it showing a flash bomb which exploded blinding Sakura. Now, he thought as he extended his shadow in the confusion as it connected sitting in one of his signature poses. Oh oh stands oh oh, seems like despite all her training she still couldn't beat my training, Asuma said giving a grin to the girls who pointed down at the field. I wouldn't count your chickens before they hatch chain smoker, 
Shadow said as they all turned their attention back to the ground. OO Stadium Field OO not knowing the soccer he hit was a clone he started to raise his hand making the double do the same when he felt something hit the back of his head knocking him unconscious with the last thing he sees when he falls to his back were two soccers standing over him before the other disappeared. Seeing the fight come to an end Genma announced, winner of the first round is Sakura Haruno and will advance to the second round. She gave a wave as she walked across the stadium or what remained as she made her way up the stairs with the crowd going crazy over what they saw or were at least excited hoping the next fight was as pulse racing either way the finals were going to be hectic the end. Now we will see you in the next video.